Knock, knock, knock. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today, I have a guest for our Knock, Knock, Knock series. Laura Rabadan, like, could you introduce yourself briefly? <laughs> Thank you for having me. Um, so I'm Laura. I study medical engineering here at the FAU. Mm -hmm. I study my masters. Uh, I'm from Mexico, Mexico City, and I've been living in Erlangen since 2021. So it's already two years. I'm already about to finish. I'm doing my thesis next semester. So medical engineering yes. sounds really interesting, and then as far as I know, that is the most one of the most famous uh, program of our university. Yes. Could you introduce more about your program or what kind of project you have done in your study? Of course, uh, medical engineering in the masters has like English programs and German programs. I'm studying the English mm -hmm. one English program that it's image and signal processing. Mm -hmm. That's my program, uh, and usually it varies from this one and another one that's management, hospital management. Management. So I chose this because in this you see more programming, mm. you see more data processing. Mm. <laughs> so that's what I, what I like about it. Mm -hmm. I have had a lot of classes where I have to program video games. Mm. I have to program some neural networks to get some medical image to look better, mm. so you can see certain things of the medical mm. images. And right now I'm looking for a thesis. I still don't have a topic, but mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna look for something about a video game, medical video game, mm -hmm. or about something image processing. The medical game is for like a kid's patients, like to like make them more relieved when they have a treatment or uh. exactly. Like uh, I had a class in last semester. Mm -hmm. It's called Exer Game. So we made a video game to make kids do more exercise. It was kids that were sick with a Fontan disease, mm -hmm. so it was really specific. We worked with Uniclinical, mm -hmm. and we made this game like uh, with the help of a doctor from Uniclinical, mm -hmm. and it was just like mini games. We tracked their uh, heart mm -hmm. rhythm. We tracked how much physical activity they did on a mm -hmm. week, and so on. So my program is you can build your own program, your learning program by yourself. So you can select from multiple classes mm. and the most popular choice by, by all the students it's uh, MRI image processing. Mm. The, there's a lot of classes that teach you how to uh, improve the processing time of the images, mm. how to segment the images uh, in a more exact way yeah. and it's also have, it also has to do with neural networks mm. so it's one of the most popular topics. There's a lot of classes for that but I chose not to go into that section that much because no. I didn't feel like I wanted to work in that yeah. in the future. Yeah, yeah. Next question is how about your life is going on in Erlangen right now? Okay. Can you tell your story a little bit? I feel like it's going way better in summer than in winter because in Mexico City at least we don't have um, seasons. Mm. It's always warm. Yeah. There's never winter or mm. really hot summers. So the first winter I was okay here, I was just arriving so I was excited mm. but this winter I was so sad <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was, I didn't know what to do, I I didn't, like a lot of people went to their own countries of my friends yeah, yeah. so actually we were here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was not a lot of people here, mm. it felt really empty mm. so, but now in summer you can see the city has changed a lot mm. it's full of people, I love going to festivals, to yeah. beer festivals yeah. Um, the most constant thing to decide to come to Germany or our university, you worry like something else? Yes, I was really worried that I had to be totally independent mm. because in Mexico I still live with my parents. I just had finished my bachelor. Mm. I, in Mexico it's common to live with your parents when you Same. finish your bachelor. Yeah. Same yeah. In, Korea. in Korea. So that change of having to earn your own money and be alone, mm. I felt it was too much for me. Mm. I was really stressed about that and I told, I had like money saved but I also knew it wouldn't last that long. Mm. That I had to find a job or something else to do. Yeah. So I was really stressed about that. So Laura, you are also working as a working student right now and 
Could you tell us about your job? Yes. Uh, <laughs> of course, <laughs> I work at Siemens Healthiness right mm. now. I work in the marketing department, in the communications department. Mm. Um, I know it doesn't sound related to my mm. <laughs> degree, to medical mm. engineering, and it's actually not directly related as it would be if I was working in MRI or something like mm. that. But it's related to what I want to work in, which is data analysis. Mm. I do that analysis of an insights paper mm. that goes out to C-level customers mm. of Siemens. So it works to hospital managers and people who can buy medical equipment mm. from Siemens. I analyze how that newsletter, uh, article page, uh, LinkedIn uh, post performs. And then I see over time what is better, what can we change, what can we improve. I think it's really good to tell to other students because like I saw a lot of students that really hesitated to even apply it like for a specific position. For example, I'm working in the sales department for mm -hmm. digitalization, but a lot of people think like for the sales team, I should be a, like a business administration student or yeah, something related, really business programs, but actually um, I'm studying decision making, so it's really not related. So I think other students also think about it, you can apply for various positions and yeah, let's see like how it goes. And even people can learn like a lot from the, di the different position, different department. I think like it's better to experiment a job when you're a working student yeah, than yeah. when you go out. True. I think if you're interested in something, maybe you can look for a yeah. working student job and try it. Yeah, it helps for the future. You are going to write your thesis next semester and you already have a student job. Yes. Then do you have any plans after your graduation? Um, I decided I want to find a job in Siemens Health in years. Oh, yeah. Perhaps not stay in the same department because mm -hmm. it's marketing, so it wouldn't really be my area. Mm -hmm. But I have already talked with my uh, boss in Siemens Health mm. She told me to talk to some other areas that work directly with the medical equipment. Mm. So I will try to contact them uh, some months from now mm. to find a position where I could stay. I would really like to stay in Erlangen in Siemens Health mm. because I like the environment there. Everyone is really friendly, nice. It's really close to my house. so. Yeah. <laughs> I True. like it. <laughs> Very important. Thank you so much, Laura. Then Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having us. I so, will see you next time. Bye, guys. Na, na, na. 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 <laughs>